Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very interesting device, which sadly it's uh, getting very hard to get. There are only a few companies that did similar products. This is the Seagate Wireless Plus. It's a wireless portable high drive with a built-in battery. Uh, there were also some made by Western Digital, but they were a huge amount of money. They didn't sell very well and they are almost obsolete because you cannot buy them anywhere else and the producers are dropping support for it uh, but there's a huge mistake in doing that because these hard drives are very good for uh, people that are passionate about traveling and using a lot of uh, devices such as action cameras drones so when you are traveling and you want to offload your micro sd cards of course you can always replace them with uh, new ones that have space on them and then just go home and uh, uh, recover all your media from all the cards but sometimes you cannot go with 50 micro sd cards with you uh, and also you want to have some kind of backup for them so this comes into place and this is probably the most smart device that can help you is with all those sd cards and recover your recordings and save them on a hard drive you're only going to need a mobile phone a smartphone and a usb hub like this one this is specially made with usb type c so it plugs in directly to my phone and here it's not only a usb hub but it's also a card reader and that's what we need the card reader option but let's move to the drive here i'm going to show you what's this about how it works and uh, how useful this device actually is so i don't know why they are not making these type of drives anymore and you could really upgrade them so for instance this one uses a regular 2.5 inch sata drive inside so you can also upgrade it probably to use an ssd drive and make it even faster better but it's limited to the wireless speed all right so you get a small quick guide manual or something like that it shows you how to use this drive and how to set it up uh, it has wireless of course because it's a wireless drive but it has some uh, really nice tricks so in the box you get uh, plug adapters for UK and for European type of sockets and the charger itself it's here pretty tiny charger but it's nice that if you are in USA you can just plug it in also if you are in Europe you don't need to make this any bigger than that you just fold those and you slide this in and you have a European charger so pretty smart design for that it has a normal USB plug here the drive itself and the charging cable and transfer cable it uses uh, USB 3 for uh, wired transfer so that should be pretty fast all right and let's take a look at the drive not huge similar with the regular portable hard drive in a rack of course this one is waterproof kind of waterproof and it has a ssd now inside but uh, you get the idea it's not that big and it's not that heavy although this has a wireless and a battery and so it has also some extra electronics inside to make it uh, smarter right so i'm going to power this on it has a power button here and it goes on it shows that it's now powered this blinks and when this is steady it means that the wireless is enabled right so this has two types of uh, wireless access it can be its own access point so it publish a uh, SSID with a password that you can customize and you can connect directly to it with the phone and not only with the phone but you can also connect with a notebook if you have wireless on your device even if you have a desktop with wireless you can connect to that drive directly of course you are going to lose the internet connectivity because this cannot offer you internet but that's not a problem if you just want to transfer some files and we are going to cover that also so here is the ssid seagate wireless so i'm going to select that wireless i haven't set any password to it and it says that it's now connected so if i press that it takes me directly to this page here that's going to load up 
And that's the drive interface. So I'm now connected with the phone to the drive and I can see the contents of the drive. So I can see that I have video photos. It has an indexing system and it sorts out files. But this can be used to store any kind of files and you can create your custom folders. And from the app you have access to almost all the things. So in the settings you have general settings here that you can select the SSID and the language. Then you have the network options and here it uh, becomes more interesting. Uh, you have an option not only to use the access point option but you can use this as a client so if you go actually back here and you click on this wireless here you can select your local network so the drive will connect to the network and it's going to be accessible over your network and the drive will also have internet access and things come become more complicated here why should this drive be available on the network because this drive if you go here in power settings it has options for uh, DLNA server and Samba server. So you can uh, share files through your network. So all the computers are going to see the drive and you can move files from computers to the drive and from the drive to the computers. Also, you have a streaming server. So if you have videos on it and you have a compatible smart TV or other devices, this is going to be available for your smart TV and you can watch the files directly from it. Of course, wireless with the condition that you are in the same network. Of course, you can shut those services off and you can use this as an access point. So that saves the battery and you are going to have more runtime from the battery. The battery is rated for theoretically 10 hours, but from my tests, you are going to get something like two, three, maybe four hours of usage. So nowhere 10 hours of usage as a claim. But uh, you are going to be able to do your job transferring files with that. Right, so let's go back to the settings to finish this off. So you get the general network system power and that's it. But the problem comes here. So I can see the files. I can check them. If I go to videos, for instance, it even has a built-in uh, web player. And it has some samples and I can click on that. And I can watch the movies directly on my mobile phone, directly from this drive. Right, but the problem comes if I want actually to save some files from my phone, from my PC or from my cameras to this drive. Because there is no option in that web page. Well, there is an app and it's the app that is called uh, Seagate Media. The problem is that Seagate has dropped support for this app and it's no longer available on uh, Android market. So you need to use any kind of uh, other uh, stores uh, for apps and to download the oldest, actually the newest, oldest version that was archived and you can find it on Aptoid or other markets. So you need to download that app and that app works brilliantly. So it will connect to the drive and although it says that it's unknown, I can click on browse my unknown drive and now it sees the name of that disk and I can go through it. And now it's here the contents of the drive and now you can create new folders, you can do whatever you want to do. And the app also provides backup options. You can backup your phone automatically, you can also send files, then of course you also have here some other settings for the drive but they are uh, similar with the ones that uh, you have seen uh, in uh, the web interface so you have the application settings here and you have options here for the uh, default folders and some stuff like that then you can uh, also go to the server settings and here you can uh, select the password for the drive you can select the eco mode for uh, the battery so you can uh, select here to enable the provided uh, built-in servers uh, you can rebuild the database so it counts again the files that are on the drive and also there are some other things here such as remote access you can uh, create a personal cloud so you can transfer files to the cloud and from the internet if the drive is on they are going to be back uh, backed up uh, on this one so pretty good to have that also. 
and uh, that's how this works so you really need to use this app that is no longer available but now let's do another test so i'm going to show you how for instance back up the micro sd in the gopro or in the drone there uh, on this drive so i'm going to take out the micro sd from the gopro here this has some recordings on it and i'm going to use this uh, small uh, card reader and i'm going to connect it to my phone and i'm not going to select that because i don't need that for now and now if i go to the file manager of my phone i have an option here to change the storage and i'm going to select usb and i'm going to go to the root of the sd card and find my recording so i have here a movie a video i'm going to select it so the file is here, it's working, it's okay, right? So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select send it and I'm going to set it add to storage. I can also go into my phone uh, gallery and from here I can also share the file. So if I press on send, I have the option to add to storage. I press that, I press upload and it's transferring to the drive. The so transfer speed, it's uh, not huge, so I'm transferring a 160 megabyte file here, so it takes a bit of time, so larger files take even more, but uh, you can increase the speed with about 50% if you plug this in, so it uh, charges while transferring, it, uh, when it's uh, just running on battery, it's kind of uh, eco all the time, so it also drops the speed of the wireless, hook this on if you don't need power, uh, if you if you have power, so you just need to back up, uh, you can hook this up even to a power bank and that's going to increase the speed of the transfer. In the app, you also have other uh, options such as the auto upload one and you have here customizations for it. You can uh, do it only when your phone is charging. You can uh, select uh, various things. Uh, the app also supports remote shutdown of the drive. So if you want to power this off, you don't need just to turn it off from the button, you can uh, just uh, use the server option here and you can shut it down to be a safe shutdown because this is still a hard drive so you don't want to use uh, to lose data by shutting it off uh, entirely while it's still transferring or doing something. So this is a soft shutdown which is more healthy for the drive. I also did the firmware update that was showing here. I don't see any kind of differences from uh, how it's working. But I only feel that uh, somehow the web interface seems to be a bit more snappy, uh, seems to work a bit more faster than it did. Maybe it's just my feeling, uh, I'm not sure of that, but uh, seems okay. And there is one more method of connecting the drive to the phone that it's even better. And I've shown you that this uh, drive has uh, Samba connectivity and uh, if you don't want to use the old app or it's not compatible with your phone and you need to upload files from your phone or from the SD card to the hard drive then you can install an app uh, called Explore and this one has uh, Samba connectivity and you just go here to um, LAN server you can select add server scan it's scanning, be sure that you are connected to the drive and it has already detected this drive and I can select it and now I can not only browse the files here but I can also go to the root of uh, this drive uh, and I can create uh, new folders, new files uh, here and I can copy from my uh, phone or memory card directly to this drive so you get a very nice uh, uh, compatibility with any kind of platform because uh, Samba is accessible also on Windows, on Linux, on Android. Uh, you don't need a dedicated app to make this work. So it's really, really nice. You just need to enable that from the battery power uh, mode there. And I can create here a new folder like test 
to because I think I did another test. I can click OK and I have my folder here. I can access it. And it's looking like some, if you are nostalgic, like uh, uh, Norton Commander or something like that. And you can go here on your memory. You can select something that you want to copy. You can uh, do that and then uh, select it, copy and I want to copy it to test, you have also option to use move so you save up space, it will delete the original file and I press on OK and it's now transferring just like that, it did transfer and here's the folder, so it works really nice so I hope that you have liked this video and you have learned something useful about uh, this device and how to solve some of your uh, problems if you have these kind of problems. I hope that you have enjoyed this and until my next video, see you and bye bye.